shawty, we be thuggin' now We in your city, we be one now Hey YouTube, welcome to our back to the channel and welcome to our now annual grocery shopping vlog, okay? This is the first decent grocery trip in this new apartment and I'm gonna take you along with this. If you're new here, we do have our own little way of grocery shopping. We do visit multiple stores, but we do that to save the most money. If we just give ourselves one option, we're missing out on so many deals. We are going to fill up this new pantry that I have. In the last two apartments, one of them had a pantry and it was like regular schmegula. But now we gotta walk in pantry i'm gonna do a completely separate video where i'm organizing it and everything because your girl <laughs> is very much ocd when it comes to these things i want it to look good but i know you see all the room we have and we don't really got much so let's get on with it because it's about to be a busy day and let's go grocery shopping <laughs> stop is daily fresh produce you really just get them at a better price and they are fresh so they're not sprayed with a bunch of preservatives and whatever else they be doing to them injections whatever so yes it does go bad faster but at least you're putting something good in your body but man when i tell you it is freezing outside today like it's literally minus 20 degrees celsius in calgary today and i am going through it that's the one thing that's making grocery shopping not fun there's only so many things that can make it not fun if you're grocery shopping while you're hungry it's gonna make you want more things it's gonna make you buy more things and you're just gonna be hangry. But for me today, it's grocery shopping in the cold. <laughs> Last night we made a pretty lengthy grocery list, but you know how it be when you're in the store, you see the prices and then you just choose not to get it. Asian supermarket it's literally one of the best places to come shop if you want different types of food different options from freaking Walmart Costco all the boring stuff like this is where we get our ramen our rice cakes all of that it's perfect snack ever it's literally rice cakes when i tell you i could eat this every single day for every meal i just love the texture like so chewy yeah freaking day time is currently 8 17 p.m and we left the house at like what time was it i think it was two something we're so tired one thing you're not gonna catch us do is cook a meal after grocery shopping we got some peace thank you very much i took all of the groceries out of the bags and here is what we're working with <laughs> Thank you God for all of this food. I am forever grateful. We have got a lot of work to do and I'm gonna just get into the dairies first so that I can put them away and they don't go bad. Y'all know how groceries be though. It always looks like so much till you actually put it away in the fridge or in the pantry and then it looks like you didn't get nothing. First up, we got some milk. This is 2%, but honestly, we prefer whole milk, like the 3.25%. It just hits a lot better and I personally don't like milk at all, but the whole milk I fucks with because it tastes like cream, like it's just so thick and sweet. Oh, here we got some. Shredded mozzarella cheese. I wanted to stop buying shredded cheese and start getting the blocks of cheese instead and just shred them myself. But tell me why the blocks of cheese are $12. Like, this is already $6. That's already a lot for freaking cheese. I remember when cheese used to be $2 or $3. Ugh. Anyways, we also got these marble cheddar strips because it's great to put in salads. 
I'm so freaking tired. It's great to put in sandwiches. And then we got cottage cheese. My boyfriend is apparently gonna put me on. Apparently I'm missing out. I never had this in my life, but apparently it's really freaking good. And also it's good for you. And then we got some sour cream because we're having a taco Tuesday tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Cannot forget the yogurt. Oh my gosh, this is literally my favorite. We just get a bunch of the little tubs because we don't eat it that often. And when we get the big tub, I find we don't touch it as much. So we just got a bunch of these little cups of Liberty Vanilla Bean Greek yogurt. Oh my god. So good. Not only does it make it an easy snack, but I love mixing it in with my overnight oats. I'm telling you, I'm on to something. It's been so long, so I just want to get anything that can go bad over with. So we're going to go in with the frozen items. So first up right here, I have the lean ground beef. And then we also got two more of this halal ground beef. Got these sliced turkey breasts. These are so good to put in like salads or sandwiches. We're going to put one in the fridge and freeze the other one. Got some chicken thighs, the juiciest part of that chicken. Here we got bass of fish, these are the fillets and these are just the cut up pieces. We got the turkey breakfast sausage. The journey that I went on to get these, okay, because we forgot about them, sorry. But these are so good, though I could eat these every single day. <sighs> like I wake up looking forward to it. And then just for a snack, whenever I'm in the mood, we got some chicken spring rolls. This is achake, it's like an African side, super good. And another breakfast item, some hash browns. Now for breads, we're trying to be a lot smarter when it comes to grocery shopping because if you watch my grocery haul during my first moving series, we got a lot of food, okay? And I'm not gonna lie, a lot of it went bad because we were shopping for six people and there's only two of us. Like, be so for real. So we thoroughly made a grocery list the night before and then revised it this morning before going to make sure that we're not overbuying. And we were asking each other at the store, are we gonna eat this? When are we gonna eat it? So that we're not just wasting money and wasting food. So for bread, we got this whole wheat bread. It's just sliced whole wheat. And there's a lot, like, this is a big Boy. We got these sandwich breads, which you can freeze up and just take it out whenever you want to make a sandwich. And then bagels. These go by so fast, like it comes with six. By the end of the week, it's probably going to be gone. Let's go over the fruits and veggies. Here we got a bag of potato. Got some lettuce, some carrots, bell peppers. Got blueberries, avocado. Got one dragon fruit because my boyfriend and I, we never tried it. I don't think I ever tried it. I don't remember trying it. Got some tomatoes for my sandwiches. That was bad. Got lots and lots of bananas. I'm no longer scared to buy too many bananas because your girl mastered her banana bread recipe. Thank you very much. Got some yummy juicy strawberries. We got 10 lemons, okay? First of all, don't come for me. I drink lemon ginger shots every morning. So your girl's gonna be making some and they were 10 for $3. And I'm really gonna be juicing them like probably tomorrow. So that's why I'm not really too upset at how rotten they look. Not really rotten rotten, but like they're getting there, you know? So I'm gonna make use of them. But we also got green onions and some ginger for the shots as well. I'm getting overwhelmed, I'm not gonna lie. Let's just go through everything. So we got brown sugar, these yummy dull pineapple passion mango cocktails. We slacked on getting these for a while just to be a little bit healthier. But when I tell you this is probably my favorite juice ever, it's busting, okay? It's just not, you know, the best for you, obviously, especially when that's all you drink. <laughs> like maybe drink water, yeah. That's what I had to do. Got this butter. It's spreadable butter with canola oil. Might not be the best for you. But I don't know if you noticed. Groceries are expensive and real butter is expensive. So sorry. Unless you want to send me real butter, I don't know what to tell you. From Costco, we got the 35 pack of water bottles. We got a soft taco dinner kit. Original cranberry juice. We got this minced garlic. Ooh, when I tell you these are my favorite snacks, it's the boggy. I'm probably mispronouncing that. But it's Korean rice cakes, okay? So good. Got some chia seeds. Also got some flour, cause like I said, I'm a baker. Got these two garden select spaghetti sauces. This big body salt. And here we just have a bunch of necessities. We got a new frying pan because ours was <laughs> pretty much beat up. And I got three packs of these dollar store spice jars. And then I got a bunch of these mini dollar store seasonings. Just the necessities like paprika, salt, pepper. And then this is so it's liquid seasoning. If you've never cooked with liquid seasoning, I very much recommend. Another good seasoning is anything by the Maggie brand. These are the chicken bouillon cubes. And oh my gosh, they're just so flavorful. Here we got this big body oil. And then we got lemon juice. And the last but not least, for I need to do math. 30, 60, 60 72. Oh. We got 72 eggs. Yay! That is it for the haul. Now I need to put everything away. That's probably gonna take me the longest, but it's fine.